Hello and welcome to my eyebrow tutorial. I'm going to show you basically how to create eyebrows using Blender's new particle system, which as of right now is part of the SVN trunk build, but I believe it's going to be on the uh, new version 2.46 that will be released with uh, Peach, uh, with the Peach product uh, production later this uh, well, next month. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to show you basically how to make eyebrows. And open up Blender, and here I have the model of, or the head of the model you were just looking at with the eyebrows, and I'm going to show you how to add eyebrows to them. Um, right now I have subsurface turned on, uh, two levels. Drop it down to one, make things a little, a little faster for us. As you can see, it's a little rougher, but it's, uh, I have a parakeet that likes making noise, so you might hear him in the background uh, momentarily, occasionally. Anyways, okay. So here's my model. Like I said, subsurface turned on. What's also turned on right now is mirror. So you can see I've only modeled half of his head with the mirror modifier turned on, so I can see what it would look like finished. And I'm going to go into edit mode. And here's where the eyebrow is going to go. But if I just put it on here right now, uh, it's going to be applied to vertex groups. So we go to vertexes, vertices. And uh, if this was a vertex groups that the eyebrows would go on, not only would it go in this area, it would also go around on his forehead and down in the eye socket and anywhere that is around these vertexes. So what I have to do is make my vertex groups inside these vertexes. So what I'm going to do is grab the faces, I'm going to extrude, and just just extrude and then click the left mouse button to keep from sizing it. I accidentally sized it a little bit. But I'm going to size it using S, make it a little smaller, go ahead and go back to, to vertex view, and kind of shape it the way I want the eyebrows to look in the end. Just kind of pull it, push and pull them out. Down here, go ahead and make that a little more narrow. Grab it, pull it out. I'm holding down Alt for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, the hotkeys in Blender. Alt and uh, left click swivels, whatever, rotates. Uh, shift and uh, right click, excuse me, Shift and uh, middle mouse for those of you on PC. Pans. Um, okay, so I've got this. Uh, this set of vertexes that I want the eyebrow to go into. And that's still not good enough because if I just select these, the eyebrow is going to go in the area around it too. So I'm going to extrude it one more time. Make it a little smaller and uh, go ahead and sculpt it back out the way I want. So now I tab back out to object mode, and you can see it did it on this side too because, like I said, the mirror modifier is on. And this weird shape here is where the eyebrow is going to go, and this uh, this area here. Okay. So we want to turn on the vertexes, and we're going to name this vertex group. Got to create a new one. Go ahead and name it Brows and uh, assign these vertexes to it, and now tab back out. And now I'm going to apply that mirror modifier, so it won't be a modifier anymore, it'll be applied to the model, so you hit tab into the model, it's not just a half model anymore, the mirror has applied and now it is two halves put together. Okay, and the vertex group that I assigned in, in the mirror was also assigned to the opposite, so now the brow vertex group is on both brows. Okay, tab back out. And now we've got the, the model done where we want to. It looks kind of weird, but once the eyebrows get on there, it'll look a lot better. Kind of hide it a little bit. Okay, so the materials. 
Okay. Right now, the only material we have applied to this model is the flesh tone. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to add a new material in the editing tab. Okay. And I made material number two. And now I'm going to go back to the shading tab. I'm going to make that like a dark gray. And I'm going to... We don't want shiny eyebrows. So I'm going to bring the spec down and the hardness of it down. Okay, so we've got kind of a flat gray. Now, that's the color. I'm going to switch to strand view. Go ahead and make the end of it, which will be the tips, very small, so it'll taper off. There we go. Go ahead and make the start of it, which will be the base connected to the, the head itself. Pretty small, too. We don't the same size, but just a little bit bigger, so it's a very long triangle shape. Okay. And now we want to add a texture map to it that's going to be a blend. And uh, this is going to help out with the, uh, the triangular shape also, make it look softer. It's going to have uh, a thick base that will fade out to, to uh, a transparent tip. And okay, so we'll go to colors, color band. I want to change the, leave it black, but change the alpha all the way up to one. Go to the, the aquamarine color, go ahead and make that black also, but make the, the alpha way down. Go ahead and turn on alpha here too, so you can see what you're doing. Now, if we just rendered it like this after we get the eyebrows done, it's going to look really thick, like really thick black hairs. So we want to go ahead and make this one way down too. It'll look almost transparent here, but uh, there's enough there to give it color when, when there's the, the children are applied to the parents, which I'll explain later. Okay, so you can see it. And right now that, uh, that blend texture is applied to the color settings, so we need to turn that off and apply it to the alpha settings. And what that's going to do is going to apply a gradation of the alpha settings, so it's going to be the you know 25% that we have, 24% right there, and then at the tip it's going to be 0%. So that'll make 24 graded to 0. So it'll be a, a nice smooth fade out and make it look softer. Okay, now to the main course, the particles. So we go to the particle tab, or excuse me, the object tab, and go to particles. We're going to add a new one and change the emitter to hair. And now we want to increase the normals just a little bit. And as you can see, right now, uh, this particle uh, emitter is emitting from the whole model. It's not coming out of the vertex groups yet because we haven't told it to. And we want to tell it to come out of the vertex group right here, browse. And uh, my computer's a little slow, uh, so it takes it a minute to, to update that. So let's go ahead and just kind of play with the, the settings a little bit here until it pops out of the right place. Okay. There we go. Now it's coming out of the browse where it's supposed to. Kind of hard to see because uh, for some reason it's just the. Uh, adapting the flesh tone, even though we will set it to material number two, which is what the eyebrow material is, but it doesn't change the color. But when we get into the editing, we will see.